Since the announcement of the Carolina Country Music Festival, anticipation's grown and the surprises keep coming. Organizers have slowly announced the headliners for the three-day festival, which now include Eric Church, Lady Annabellum, and Hunter Hayes, to name a few. And now there's going to be an extra day. The City Council is allowing the Country Music Festival to add an event on Thursday night. It's not a, a national act. It's going to be more of a local band. Victor Shema has owned the Bowery in Myrtle Beach for 30 years. He says he's excited that his establishment will be front and center to all the action. Myrtle Beach and this area has never had so many stars in one area at one time. This is something that that's uh, if this goes well, I'd like to see it happen all the time every year. City officials say they won't close down Ocean Boulevard between 8th and 9th Avenue North on Thursday like they're going to the remaining three days. I think that the little bit of an inconvenience is a lot of gain. With more than 20,000 people anticipated for the festival, parking is a main concern. City Council says they will take advantage of all lots in the area. Local businesses have also been given the go-ahead to charge for parking if they have a lot available for attendees. There are also going to be shuttles uh, that will run both up and down Ocean Boulevard to take people from hotels down to the event site and then also from the Myrtle Square Mall site. That will be a main parking area and a shuttle will run from there over to the pavilion site.